Guess what season it is? Spooky season! Yeah, that was, that's all I'm gonna get on the rotation about making myself sick. We are headed out. I don't know where the camera is. That way, cool. We are headed out to go see Purgatory tonight. I just did like a quick upload to let you guys know that's where we're headed and I'm um, excited. It's all the way out in Kingwood, but I think it's supposed to be worth it. So I'm sure you'll be seeing my friends here shortly. Let's go. Oh, actually they just showed up. Sorry y'all, we had to make a pit stop. King. Oh, this is the YouTube. Yes. Yeah. What did you think I was doing? We're going to Purgatory. I thought you were doing a um, Snapchat, but I'm like, you're not on Snapchat. And you wore a Thriller shirt. Yeah, I had to dress the thing. Yeah, so you're bait. At 2,700 square feet and a 30 to 40 minute walkthrough, it is the largest haunt in the state of Texas. 30 to 40 minute walk. Wait, wait, wait. In one Say it attraction. Again? I, 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 didn't, I didn't hear. I didn't, At 2,700 really... square feet. 27,000, I'm sorry. 27,000 square feet and a 30 to 40 minute walk through. It is the largest haunt in the state of Texas. Come see Hill Count, Dredzo, Lester the Jester, Bendy, and the crew of signature characters. How long does it take to get through this? <laughs> what? How long does it take to get through this? It said 30 20? to 40 minutes. That's a long walk. You got a good walk going. That's, yeah, that's, that's a long walk. So this is just you. one. This is like one time through. One, eight, what was yeah. that? Okay, we are done eating, but. For some reason, we've, we're missing one person. Here he comes. What? Now have you processed it? Huh? Have you processed it? I have it? processed it. Are it's we gonna ready? be like 30. You know what? It, if I die tonight, then, you <laughs> You're know. so remember, extra. Post my video on a big, of the dancing wedding video. Post it like over my, my um, coffin, right? Post <laughs> it over your coffin so I can buy a billboard for you. <laughs> yeah, a... Here, we have arrived in Kingwood um, with our in-house entertainment. come down here and by usually I mean like it's been like 10 years <laughs> I, I think this is yeah, it this with this light the, that's like the rotating signal. The, bad the bad signal, signal. Yeah. Ugh, there again we've got these fields out here I can't stand these that's why I wore my boots I was like I'm not wearing my sneakers I wore my boots but you call me Jack Sparrow yep. <laughs> I mean it, it, it's it, it was justified <laughs> Hey, want some, want some rum, though. What? I didn't yeah. We're gonna do our spray downs real quick. I'm telling y'all, you need this. Is it that building? I don't know. I think it's that way, because I hear noise that way. But y'all, we gotta, we gotta figure out something tonight. to do with Look these the fields. Look at that, moon. that is a spooky moon. Yeah, it's the lunar moon. It's the lunar moon. We're a haunted house that have like walking units and jokes. <laughs> okay, so this is the, I guess the entrance area. <laughs> Looks like general admission is $40, VIP admission is $60, and elite package is $100. But we've already ordered our tickets online, so I don't really know where to go. We're trick-or-treating, so that's the ATM, but there's like people running. I don't know how they have this set up, but they have like kids running, which makes me very happy. I know it's sick and twisted, but the more that you run and scream, the better I know the haunted house is. So we're just waiting. Um, we already bought our tickets online, like I said, and then we'll be checking in. You check in in the front. Where do I look? I don't even know if that's the camera. That's a camera. Uh, you know, we're, we're gonna check in up here and then we didn't buy the fast pass. So we'll let you know what the lines look like here too. All right, so you gotta hold tight to these. They've just given us our passes that we ordered on there. And now we're gonna get in line over here with the spooky people. How is your anxiety doing back there? We have a mental patient coming. Just hold on. I, I, I recognize you actually. Hello, friend. Hi. Yeah. You looking better? How big is you? The Adams family. Hi. Oh, oh yes, I do remember. Hi. Hi. How, how are you? That's a very good picture. I'm good. <laughs> Cut it off. <laughs> oh, this friend of yours. <laughs> Frank, you have to go back to your room, Frank. Frank, you have to go back to your room, Frank. Frank, we have a DJ here, DJ set up. Tartress! Hey, Hassan? Hassan. Those are the kind of ladies you have to watch out for. Yeah. I'm aware. 
Okay, uh, we've been in line for about 20 minutes. Okay, Frey's coming around, so we definitely got to get a photo when he comes back. When he comes down here. I'm just telling him how he long we've been in line. He has broken out of the insane asylum. He has a break. They're using it as a cell phone. Shit is going on. And we've been waiting for him for We're 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes. And we still got a little bit of way to go. Way to go. Buy, maybe a buy a fast pass here in a rush. Um, no cell phones, flashlights, no new photography. When you get outside, about to go in the middle pathway. Okay. It's one giant walkthrough, so here we go. Are you okay? <laughs> no, he chased me. God damn it. <laughs> Are you okay? Is everybody okay? He chased me. God damn it. Are you okay? 100%. Hey, I broke. didn't run. I actually you did not run. run. I'm proud of I you. I did not run. Don't you run. Not I, run. I, might, I might have leaped away from a few things, yes. but I did not run. This is a great, great place, guys. I, I actually really enjoyed myself in there. I feel like uh, we're going to get some fresh meat. Okay, um, what? <laughs> love it. I love that. If there is any house that I have loved, Almost as much as Red Rum. It's this one. Holy crap, y'all. She's running. I'm gonna go help her. somebody's phone sir ma'am no okay try to because i'm not remembering how to do this and where to look so the camera's right there all right guys uh we just went to purgatory like a few days ago um and i'm doing this review now because i had allergies and then i had work and then i had allergies and so we're gonna do this video now the great part about this video is is that i had so much fun and so did my friends that this is not gonna actually be a difficult place to review um purgatory like i had heard about it like i said before and everybody's like oh this is where you gotta go and it's all the way out in kingwood so for me i was like i'm coming from the southwest side of houston this is gonna be about an hour drive which it ended up being um so we went out there and uh, i'm gonna have to unfortunately give like zero points for parking because i hate 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 parking in the grass um especially when it's dark and you don't see where the potholes are because you might trip in one like i did and i know like these are temporary kind of like fields you know for the season only so they can't really like you know pave it out but i hope they get an opportunity to fix that or at least put some lighting i know maybe they did it to like give a spooky vibe or something but um honestly it was a little little dangerous <laughs> with the parking so that is the only only place i'm probably gonna dock points um uh, in this whole video. Uh, I'm not a jumpy person, so I'm going to preface this with that. I went with a couple of jumpy friends. My husband is not jumpy um, and my cousin is not jumpy. So we're gonna tell from both perspectives. Uh, we waited in line. Um, we ordered our tickets online actually. And I think, was there a coupon? I can't remember if there was a coupon. I don't think there was a coupon for this one. That was actually Terror Dome. So um, for this particular one, we ordered the tickets online. We walked in, uh, picked it up relatively quickly. I don't know if it's because maybe it's the beginning of the season still or considered the beginning of the season. Uh, picked it up, went and stood in line and we were in line for about 30 minutes. Um, and they have like, you know, they have a little DJ set up and everything. And I guess I had asked at that point if this is kind of similar to other parks where there's different haunts around, but apparently it was just like one giant walkthrough and uh, that triggered my friend's anxiety quite quickly. <laughs> so um, I, you know, he hadn't been in, a, I think about 15 years and his girlfriend hadn't been, I think uh, ever. Um, so I was already getting nervous. I was like, I hope this is gonna be okay. And we proceeded in. Uh, after the wait in the line, they basically, they section you out. I believe there's only, is it six or eight people allowed? We were six, so I think it was eight. So you can't go in like a giant group. They're gonna break you down, um, you know, for probably for fire code. Uh, and you start off and it starts off just like every haunted house. You kind of walk in, you're greeted by like a friend, friendly ghoul uh, and you just kind of walk through each room. So they, at the beginning, it's a traditional, I would say haunted house where you're walking through like butcher areas and like spooky jump outs and everything. Um, not too many animatronics. This is mostly like actors work. And I have to be honest, the acting is incredible. Like everybody's in character, even on the outside. Um, uh, shout out to uh, 
meat face, uh, mus muscle face. No, we called you meat muscle face. Don't hurt me. I'm so sorry. We gave him a whole backstory. Um, he was really chill. I uh, really looked, uh, really enjoyed meeting you actually, muscle head. Now you've turned me into muscle head, so I don't actually know what your name is, but I hope you embrace one of them. Um, you know, all the characters outside, inside, great acting. There's one outside that's so in character. Uh, I guess he looks like he's escaped from an asylum of some sort. So he's out there uh, and I could tell, like I said, that there's different types of people. There, there were people that were getting scared by some of the jumpy noises that people were making or, you know, just popping up behind you going, Bleh. so some people react to that. I, I personally don't. Um, I enjoy watching people's reactions in the line because I'm a sicko. Uh, so back to the walk, we're walking through. And again, everybody that's in that haunted house, I don't know if you're volunteers or if this is what you do professionally, but I hope you do it 24 seven because you were built to do it. it. It was so much fun just because everybody was in character, costumes, makeup, flawless. Uh, so we walk through and as you're going through, you start noticing, um, they start changing your surroundings. I don't really know how else to put that. And as a person who is 0% claustrophobic, like I don't get claustrophobic, I got very claustrophobic at one park. I'm just gonna leave it at that. There, uh, you do have to go through, I'm sure you guys have been through those balloon walls. That's the only thing I'm gonna spoil for you because I have had people tell me that they're extremely claustrophobic and they might have a panic attack. So if you do, they do have one of those in there. But aside from the balloon wall, there was another part that made me feel very claustrophobic, but it was so neat because honestly, it's just an optical illusion. And um, when you get through that area and you're walking around, you've completely changed sets. You've gone from inside of a tr traditional haunted house and now you're in a totally new area. It's a totally different vibe. It's nothing I've ever seen before. Um, they've put a lot of effort into not only the sound effects, you know, as you're walking through, but the set design, it was incredible. I, I, it, I've never seen anything like it. So we walked through that area, um, met some animatronics there that kind of, kind of, kind of scared a little bit of, like just a little bit of something out of me. I don't know what that's called, but I did jump a little bit. And we can continue to walk through and then you're outside. And I was trying not to go to a place that's outside because my friends kind of freak out, like, you know, an outdoor, they kind of want things to be contained. So you go from inside, you go through all these different sets, another one, and you make it wear outside. And that is, you have to go to this one. If I was to shoot a movie, a horror movie here in Houston, and I had to pick a set, of course, Red Room is like my base home, of course, right? But I have never seen anything like they've done here. And it was, I don't want to ruin it for you, but it was so magical. <laughs> it was like a post-apocalyptic world that we stepped into that's totally run by zombies. And I couldn't feel more at home, which sounds really creepy now that I'm saying it, but Nonetheless, that was great. Um, of course, you have a chainsaw guy running around in there. So if you're not a fan of chainsaws, just be ready. There is a chainsaw, just, you know, be ready for that. Um, not a lot of boom, boom, pow, like kind of cheap scares. I call those cheap scares. As you guys know, I don't really like loud noises. I, I can't really partially hear out of this ear. So this ear picks up a lot more volume and it's a lot more intense. So I'm not a fan of those like giant honking horns and things of that nature. So, um, I would just be mindful of that. If you if you are somebody that's that's uh, you know that sets you off, you'll be okay. Um, and incredible actors all the way through. You make it out and you're back in the parking lot. So once you have finished the entire walkthrough, you make it into the parking lot. My grades ten of ten for uh, sets. I I have yet to see something that imaginative um, that's new. I think this is a newer haunted house. Amazing, incredible. Uh, 10 of 10 for all the personalities there, especially Mr. Muscle Face. You are amazing. And I think he kind of caught on that we were doing a review, but we played it off really well. Um, for a spooky level, for somebody who does not get spooked, uh, I, I still, sorry, wasn't really scared. Um, did I enjoy myself? 10 of 10 enjoyment level for somebody who does not get easily startled. If you get easily startled, like my other two or three friends, we're gonna we're gonna put her in the maybe other because she was very well connect collected like i would say throughout the whole thing if you are a little bit jumpier i would probably put this at a eight seven or eight on the spooky scale of ten 
but they've enjoyed themselves. I'm sure you saw, I think I, I had some footage, I hopefully, when I edit this, I had the footage of them letting you know that they really, really enjoyed themselves. Um, even though this was either their first haunted house or they haven't been in a while, thoroughly enjoyed themselves, even though they were jumping around and screaming. And I think that's half the fun. Again, just to recap, always take off with you. Do not leave your house without off. If you cannot stand strobe lights, please don't go. There are strobe light effects in this area. Um, not too much, uh, well, no, they had a little bit of fogging, fogging machine. I'm trying to remember because you guys send me questions throughout the year. And so I just kind of keep them on a spreadsheet, which I should have honestly like located and pulled up before I did this. But um, let's see, uh, I don't sell discount tickets. I don't have any insides to any of these companies that are giving away tickets. If, if they invite us out, we get to go see it for this particular one. Like I said, something I've wanted to see. So we paid for this ticket and, and we went in. I did not do the speed pass. Like I said, if you want to get in there faster than 30, 45 minutes of wait outside, I would advise you getting the speed pass. Um, one time through, you're not, I don't think that you can go through multiple times. If I'm incorrect, you're welcome to uh, write it at the bottom, but I don't think that you're allowed to go more than once. Um, and they are open, they start at 8 p.m. 8 to I think about 11 currently. So don't try to get there earlier. It's not really gonna happen. There's no food park outside or anything like that. You are in like a residential kind of area. So maybe you can eat around, but it's not actually at the park. Um, uh, there is a little dip and dots, I think ice cream truck there. So if you need a snack, there's a snack. Porta potty situation. I hate porta potties. They're scarier than haunted houses for me. And they just have a cluster of them. Like I think like four or five of them at the front. Um, so God. I really, really hate porta potties. I wish these haunted houses would invest in what Red Drum has and has have like a proper toilet. Um, that would be a lot, a lot easier. And what else? Let's see. Overall, I I would highly recommend if you are trying to find a fun yet scary haunted house, something that's not going to scare you for for weeks at a time. Like if you go to um, I forget the one that um, Cutting Edge. It, that that one genuinely did 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 scare me when I went for a zombie apocalypse shoot. But if you want something fun, this is where you go. I loved it, absolutely loved it, and I can't say enough good things about it. Which is weird because I was kind of going in with like a like a snotty attitude, like I don't know. Check out their parking lot, you know, saw grass. I didn't actually say that, but you know, go. Let me know what you think. Um, I, I know some of you guys messaged about other haunted houses. So I'm going to try to visit those. I, and remember every year, each haunted house changes, right? Because the cast changes and we have new workers. We have people that have returned. Um, they've updated things. Maybe they've updated their sets. So maybe my experience last year is not going to be the same experience you have this year, but for this year so far, definitely, definitely go check out purgatory out all the way out in Kingwood. No disrespect to anybody that lives out there. But man, that was a drive. So let me know what you guys think if you go. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.